Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting and discussing from the felony flats of Portland, Oregon, oozing from the year 2007, the sophomore full length from Bunk Dope. This is Soars. If you're a fan of, say, Broken Hope, Waco Jesus and Devourment, chances are extremely heavy you're going to be a fan of some meth metal in the form of bunk dope. Because this is brutal, nasty death metal that happens to be infused with methamphetamine. But it's awesome. Just disgusting, heavy, brutal death metal. It's fucking great. Like, don't let the cover art deter you. It's just disgusting looking. Like, it, it adds to the gnarliness that is bunk dope. And I thought it was kind of funny here. Well, it's not funny because Don, rest in peace from Anal Blast. But my old band was going to play a show with Anal Blast, and Don would call me probably three times a week just to make sure, like, you guys are playing, right? And it's like, yeah, like, why wouldn't we be? Like, we're more curious if you're playing. The show never ended up happening because sadly Don passed away, but. Yeah, I, I soon as, as soon as I saw them thank Anal Blast as the second band that they thanked after Deicide, I was just thinking, I was like, oh man, I remember when like Don would call me about that show, and it just brought back memories, but I like the little bunk dope junkie monster guy, he's fucking sick, and Headsplit just rules for putting out stuff like this. It would be like if they somehow got a hold of the second Skeleton Proof Tanks album and put it out. Because if this is how we originally wanted it to be released, but it was 2006 and people weren't buying cassettes. So we had to bite the bullet and go the CD route. But Headsplit's one of those labels where, you know, they dive deep into the underground and find these bad ass semi forgotten releases and bring new light to them and sometimes you know just through head splits reissues I find out about bands I should have known about but didn't for example Arachnid this is some of the fucking best death metal to come out of the Pacific Northwest. And, you know, I've seen people with vinyl copies of this bad boy, but it's such a killer fucking record, and I never probably would have heard it if it wasn't for Disguster at Headsplit Records. So, heavy hails to Dylan, and heavy hails to fucking Headsplit Records for just being on top of what the underground wants and what the underground needs when it comes to extreme music. Because, like, Headsplit's one of the few labels that can, like, for example, put out something as monumental as the master self-titled and then be as underground as to reissue the infester demos on cassette this is getting a vinyl release through nuclear winter records so keep your eyes open but Head Split's one of those labels, like, they're the fucking shit. I would love to do 
like a label spotlight on head split but it would be like an hour and a half long video because they just put out so much gnarly stuff like again this just popped in my eye like you have a classic like the midwest death metal maniacs in morgue with eroded thoughts again this really needs a reissue on vinyl but then also like note road like that's fucking sick to be able to go on both, you know, sides of things. A classic and something modern that's gnarly. That's the way Head Split works and I think it's a great business model and the fact that Dylan gives a fuck about quality control and getting your order in your hands pretty much the day you order it. It's the same with Appalachian Noise Records. Like, it's all just set up in advance. So, when you order it, boom, it's ready to go out pretty much. And that's the thing sometimes that bothers me about record labels. Like, I get it, it might not be your only job. You might have a gnarly full-time job. But like, the easiest part of it seems like the boxing it up and putting the shipping labels on it like all you got to do is when all right set up a pre-order for you know whatever or don't even set up a pre-order just let people know what time you're dropping your release have everything in advance boxed up and ready to go like i'm talking one like if it's a one copy per customer type deal like I'm also talking like this is let's say a single album order as soon as if I was a record label and you know I have that pre-order money it wouldn't be like alright here's the pre-order but then six months later you get your record I would ship it out that day I wouldn't even do the pre-orders until I had the records in my hand. And that's another thing I like about Head Split. No pre-orders. They'll give you a heads up. Like, hey, this is at the plant right now, so, you know, keep your eyes and ears open. And they'll normally do bundle packs, and that's fucking awesome. But let's say this was single, and I knew in advance I was getting 150 copies. I would box them as soon as they came in the door and then when I put them online I would get the shipping labels and then just put them on the boxes and then when the UPS man comes I'm done. It's really probably the easiest part of being a record label is getting the records out the door. When I read people being like, you know, hey, chill, like, and it's been, like, over three weeks, like, come on. I mean, I, I get it, but at the same time, you are a business, and the customer is always right. I mean, in extreme music, it seems to be the other way around. The customer's normally wrong, and, you know... I'm too busy to ship out another copy. Like, it's whatever, and I don't care. But labels like Head Split, they don't do that. Head Split will get your back, and not only are they releasing some of the coolest and just awesome underground music, like, where else are you gonna get a Bunk Dope album right now? That's brand new. Head Split Records. Soars by Bunk Dope, eight tracks of brutal, fucking, disgusting, drugged out death metal. And when I say drugged out, I mean very, very heavy on the drug overtones. All you gotta do is look at the cover art, and yeah, the name of the band's Bunk Dope. Pretty much. Nowadays, it would be Boof Dope, but Bunk Dope sounds a little bit more brutal than Boof Dope, but that's what Bunk Dope is. It's like, uh, 
if I sold you a bag of salt and said it was cocaine. That's bunk dope. Fake drugs. So, I just think it's a kind of appropriately sick name. But hailing from the felony flats in Portland, Oregon, bunk dope soars. Brutal death metal that slams and grinds and just is brutal. Because I hate the term slam. I just like calling brutal death metal brutal death metal. And that's what this is. I just know there's some folks out there that'll be like, dude, it, it's it's slam. Like, call it what you want to call it. I'll stick to calling it brutal death metal. But... If your favorite record label starts giving you shit about you asking questions about your order and whatnot, if it's been over a month and you haven't heard anything and you haven't read anything about there being plant backups or anything like that, like let's say you ordered a t-shirt and all of a sudden it's a social media blackout from the band. I have a friend that this happened to. And he never got his stuff. He had to go through the whole entire making a PayPal claim. And still, the band did not send him his product. Your fans out there are the most important thing you have besides your music. Treat them with respect. Don't put them on blast on social media because they asked the question the wrong way. It's just in bad taste, especially if it's their first time ordering. Like, not everybody's been doing this for 20 years, you know? So just chill sometimes. But if you want the opposite of chill and you just want some brutal, nasty death metal, check out Bunk Dope, Sores, Head Split Records, Filth. You get tracks like Two Hour Jack Shower, Dope Mestic Violence, Spun Severed, Rinse Bag. It's sick. It, it really is. Like, you need to check it out yourselves and see if you like it or not. Because this isn't for everybody, but like I was saying, if you like Devourment, Broken Hope, Regurgitation, Waco Jesus... Chances are extremely high you are going to love Bunk Dope and Soars. Head Split Records fucking hails. And thank you, thank you for the donation here. Awesome stuff. I forget the name off the top of my head, I am so sorry. But I appreciate the donation. Get your Bunk Dope on. Blast Soars. Killer sophomore brutal death metal record from these portland oregon death metal maniacs get into it and check out the tape real quick it's fucking sick it's got the guy with his fucking cocaine <laughs> Or heroin, we don't know. It could be crystal meth, because this is side meth, and this is side metal. So Bunk Dope bring you eight tracks of brutal meth metal from the Pacific Northwest. Filthy, heavy, and brutal as fuck. Bunk Dope soars. But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hey,